This is a bee packet of Italian honeybees. They were delivered by USPS today from Gold Star Honeybees. They will be installed in a so-called top bar hive. To install the bees, we first need to remove the queen cage. It's fastened with some staples on the top of this box and the queen is separate in a little cage because these honeybees need to get used to her new queen. True bee whisperers like Miss Helen don't really need gloves as you can see. The staples are removed so we can take out the little queen cage and then put that little cage into the new top bar hive. The staples are removed and a little hole in the box opens up that will also be the hole which is used to shake the bees into the new hive. But first we're just going to take out the new queen. So you can put on your glove. And there she is, the queen in her little cage with just a couple of flight attendants that help her survive. The little screw can unscrew the cork so it reveals the sugar plug that the bees will chew through to get to their queen. We are now putting her with a little paper pin on a top bar hive and put her near the entrance of their new home so they can all find their way into their new queen. Before we take off the lid to release the bees, we spray them with a little water, makes it harder for them to fly with their wet wings. And now we go for the part where the bees are put into their top bar. Cage. Whack! Ooh, okay. So there's no With a good whack, we put them in a little corner and then pour them into their new hive. So the majority of the bees poured right into the hive and we need to place the queen cage back down because accidentally it moved up on top of the top bar. And now we're going to close the top with all the top bars and some spacers to make sure they have enough space to build their new combs when they bring in all their honey. Putting the top bars in place is rather tedious and slow because you want to avoid that you smush any of those little bees. There's a couple right there at your feet, just don't step on them. A bit of lemon mint plants could be used like a brush to get those little critters out of the way. We are almost done and the bees are already finding their new home. Okay, on goes the top. Now, we still want to make sure we don't trap any of those bees and squash them by putting the lid on. So, for now, we're putting the lid on bottom up. So, no bees get under it. Now it's a matter of waiting for all the bees to get out of the way. Some are still crawling on the top bars, so we're going to brush them down with a little lemon mint. That way we can place the lid on top of the bars, even though it's facing upside down. And hooray! We found a space that we were looking for earlier. There you go. Yeah. 
So, this is their new home. And the remaining bees that are in their old USPS Me. box already That's know where they, they need to go. There are bees that are fanning the scent of their queen out of the hive so the other bees know where to go. And that's where they go. And going. most of them already know they need to take off and find their new home. Perfect. And this is the bees in their new home. As always, thanks for watching. Very famous for attacking people, although Spacers. <laughs> Last take. Placing the top bars in. Sp Placing the top bars in place. Not last take. <laughs> Wasn't the last take after all, Anthony. <laughs>